Intel's new Alder Lake chips come with two sets of CPI cores, E cores and P cores. But why would a single CPU have two types of cores? Well, Intel is taking a page from the smartphone world by adding more efficient cores to their CPUs. P cores, P for power, are your standard normal CPU cores that you're used to, and heavy duty work will use these specific cores. Now, E cores, E for efficient, are the cores that are used for background system tasks that are running all the time but don't need powerful processing to do their job. In theory, this will all make for a more efficient CPU, allowing your P cores to process all the heavy stuff while the lower power E cores do all the basic stuff. Now, you'll also have to get used to a new way of identifying processors with the release of Alder Lake. While a 12 core processor in the past was, well, simply 12 processing cores, well, it's a bit different now. With 12 Gen Intel, you'll see CPUs with notations like 12 core 8 plus 4 or 8P plus 4E processors. We might also see notations like 8 capital C, 4 lowercase c, which indicates 8 big cores and 4 small cores. All three notations point to a processor with 8 performance cores and 8 efficient cores. For a more detailed explanation and illustration, or to shop 12-gen rugged embedded computers, visit industrialpc.com.